French elections, left projected to win most seats, ahead of Macron's coalition and far right. Here's a summary of the article. France's left-wing parties were expected to win the most seats in the Assemblée Nationale, after the second round of snap parliamentary elections, first estimates showed on Sunday, July 7. The Nouveau Front Populaire Alliance, formed less than three weeks ago by the main left-wing parties, was expected to clinch between 177 and 192 seats, according to the early estimates by Ipsos for France Televisions, Radio France, France 24, RFI and LCP. The far-right Rassemblement National and its allies were projected to win between 138 and 145 seats, and Macron's coalition, Ensemble, between 152 and 158. The members of the conservative party Les Republicains who did not join forces with the RN unlike their disputed leader Eric Ciotti, were projected to win 63 to 67 seats, roughly as many as in the outgoing legislature. The president must bow to the results of the left, he said, adding that the NFP alliance will apply nothing but its program, all of its program. The projected breakdown among the left-wing parties was 73 to 80 seats for LFI, 60 to 64 for the Socialists, 33 to 36 for the Greens, and 11 to 12 to the Communists. The leader of the RN, Jordan Bardella, denounced in a speech on Sunday evening the alliance of dishonor, which deprives the French of a policy of recovery. Bardella spoke of unnatural alliances between the presidential coalition and the left, which he said had led to his party's defeat. In the week between the two rounds of voting, more than 200 candidates, mostly from the left and center, dropped out in favor of a better-placed candidate to beat the RN, to prevent the far right from ascending to power in what is called the Republican Front in France. The NFP alliance was formed by the Socialists, Greens, Communists and Melanchons radical left party LFI, along with some smaller parties and independents. This post received a score of 26,000, with an upvote ratio of 92%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Pretty dramatic swing from the first round. Right-wing support fell off dramatically, or actually seems like left-wing strategy improved and voter participation increased. I am French. Basically every time Macron or NFP candidates were second and third one of them, the third, dropped out of the race and asked for voters to vote against the far right. So this is the result, it's basically everyone who doesn't like far right voted against it which made them lose in a lot of places. Also a bunch of far right people spoke on TV and looked dumb as shit so it probably didn't help. I also think the picture of a far right French candidate wearing a Nazi hat was probably not in their favor. Yes I said TV but it's overall all the local ones we saw looked like gigantic morons or Nazis. All the local ones we saw looked like gigantic morons or Nazis. Could be both. I don't know what the French version of pork no los dos is, but it seems applicable here. That would be porcoy polyester, edited to add a vowel, because French. Porcoy. What a twist. He got me. Le Pen said of the snap election. That effing Macron boomed me. He's so good. Repeating it four times. Le Pen then added Macron to the list of people she wouldn't be working out with this summer. Macron. What they gonna say now? They even got a lower score than Macron's own party, still the RN greatly grew in power. Is there any chance the center will form a minority coalition with the Republicans? Together, they can be the largest bloc. That's still not enough to do anything but yeah that might happen. LR has had a seat at the table the last two governments. How many times can Le Pen fail before RN moves on from her? Technically speaking she is not the party leader. That would be Jordan Bardella and he has been the party leader since 2022. Am I wrong to wonder if picking a 28-year-old pretty boy was the wrong move? Maybe I'm totally wrong, but I wonder if some conservative voters thought he looked like an arrogant child who made the party look unserious. He's popular with young voters, who are becoming the new staple of far-right parties across Europe. They should learn from the left that relying on the youth vote never works. The youth don't vote, but the ones that do firm up their partisan position for life. The youth vote is about the future more than winning. Making a plan to win now on youth votes is a bad move, but overall it is great to court them for future success. Especially since older generations, who tend to be more active in voter participation, 
are passing on, and succeeding generations are failing to replace those disappearing votes. This video was automatically created by Reddit to Speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.